Pac-Man Championship Edition. That should be fun. I'll play that later on when I get the time to do so. Hey, beautiful people. How's it going? My name is Ultima. You can call me Raymond if you wish. But today we're going to be playing a little bit of Little Big Planet, a little special episode and a tasty treat of a video for you all to watch. However, I wanted to make this known because I'm not above playing or having fun with my subscribers and or friends, but if you wish, we can play one of these games together online sometime. Call of Duty, Bioshock 2, Little Big Planet, if you wish, we can play some of that. That'd be nice. Um, no and no, that those don't have multiplayer. Just have fun sometime. Whenever I'm not working or whenever I'm not doing anything for college, we can do one of those things. And if you want to look for me, just type in this name. Pause the video and you can type in this name and befriend me and we can have some fun later on. Alright, let's get to the video. Okay, one of my most favorite levels that someone by the name of Nathan Nine made, Little Big Bioshock, a brilliant level. And let's see, this should be a blast from the past. For those of you who don't know, Bioshock was one of my most legendary, or at least what I hope people will say will be one of my most legendary and first. Well, it's my first walkthrough, and this, my friend, should be nostalgic at its finest. So let's get us, let's get started. Let's do this thing. And while this is loading, just so you know, I'm actually going to take a few things that I got from my walkthrough of Bioshock, and I'm actually going to input those moments that are fitting into this playthrough of Little Big Bioshock. So you're going to hear a few twists that you normally wouldn't hear when you play this game. And here we go! They told me. Son... You're special. Oh, yay. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Oh, this is going to be great, everyone. Ah, oh, this is so nostalgic. <laughs> This is great. I love this already. My goodness. Swim, Mozart, swim! <laughs> Go, Amadeus. And while, we, um, while we're doing this, I might as well show off my costume. I am the one and only, the greatest artist and composer of all time in the classical period, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. And he is looking so happy. Let me make him happier. With a spear! Yeah, we're gonna run shit here. Big Daddy's better watch out for me, because I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be mad when I see a big day. I'm gonna kill everyone with my spear. <laughs> you know what else makes um, Mozart sad? Well, not well. Yeah, let's go sad. You know what makes Mozart sad? Rebecca Black, because compared to the raw talent and genius that he put into his compositions, Rebecca Black and Justin Bieber just make him all the more sad. <laughs> But now he's happy because he's in Rapture and he's with me. So let's do this thing. Let's go. Uh, nah, no, 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 no. Actually, you can go under that door in time. I've done it before. <laughs> it's not that fast of a door going down. Alrighty, let's see. What do we have here? It's so dark. Just like in the main game. Oh, God, Andrew Ryan. <laughs> no gods or kings, only man. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that Andrew Ryan looks like a weird, disfigured Muhammad Ali. I don't know why I just said that. Goodness gracious, forgive me. <laughs> but that's what it looked like at my first impression. Now let's get a move on. If I'm not mistaken, we have a bathosphere to go to. Yeah, this game's got bathospheres! Alright! This is, oh my god, this is just like to the T of Bioshock. This is great. If I'm not mistaken, we should get our first kill going on in the cutscene very soon. Oh, I remember this. Oh, man, memories of my time during Bioshock are just flooding into my memory. Oh, I remember this so much. I should give you guys an annotation to link you to what I mean as to when I did my walker in Bioshock. I should do that so you guys will know what I'm talking about. This is so... All great things... Come forth into the sea or something. I don't know. I forget what they said, but I said it in my walkthrough. <laughs> oh man, this is so nostalgic. I love this. Nathan Nine, you you rock. I officially ordain you, Mr. Rock. Don't hurt me. Let me go. That 
Kane is dead. Is it someone new? No! Oh shit! Oh no! No, 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 no! Mozart is scared. I don't know how you survived that plane crash, but I never want to question Providence. Yeah, I don't know why. And I aim to keep you alive. Awesome. Now keep on moving. Um, okay. <laughs> do I take this radio? No, I don't. This is bot. This is little big plane. Ooh, I do take it. Awesome. Nice, nice. What? LB. Oh, little big plant police department. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, Mozart is affiliated with cops. <laughs> All right, let's get a move on. What do we have to do? Uh, I'm a little bit afraid. Jeez. Uh, Ooh, Vita Chambers. Nice. I don't know what these things do. Well, obviously they revive you, but I never used one in my first walkthrough of Bioshock, so... Yeah, I guess I still have the honor to say that. Welcome to Rapture! Yeah! I love this place. I wouldn't mind living here, minus all the freaks that are here. Speaking of freaks... Hi! You cannot defeat Mozart. And his spear! And his amazing precision evading skills. <laughs> Go, Mozart! Yeah! Gotta wait for it. Get the timing right. And kill him! With your spear! Wait, what? Oh, I used a Vita Chamber. Shame on me. <laughs> I can do everything in my walkthrough bio shop, but I can't live with a sack boy right here. I can't do it. Why is this even here? That just... Wow, that killed... I can't believe that killed me instead of a splicer. Oh my god, I love this song! <laughs> this is bringing so many memories again. Oh, I love this game. Yeah, give me that money! I don't know what we're gonna do with this right here, but no matter. The Little Sisters! Hell yeah! Give me that Adam! Look, Mr. Bubbles. Adam! <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, Bioshock. I love you so. Go! Go! Oh, no! It blocked my path. Can I, can I go through it? No, I have to go in the plane. How, how foolish of me. I should remember this. All right, let's go in here. Let's go over here and... Whoa, hey, Splicer! Ah, uh, you came out of nowhere and you got me. You suck, Splicer. Shame on you for scaring me like that. Well, I wasn't scared, but you get the point. He just came out of nowhere and killed me. Even though, yeah, he pretty much just got a good ambush on me. I'll give him that much. But I'm going to get you now with my spear, like Kang Highwood. Yeah, with my spear. You make Mozart mad. You make him angry. <laughs> Would you kindly, please? <laughs> oh, powerful phrase, I must say. Oh, it's been forever. It's been too long since I've done my, my version of Bioshock. Go! Yes, Mozart can do it all! Yeah! I didn't think he was going to get that there. Ooh, what did I pick up there? Ooh, I picked up. Is that a Vita chamber? Nice! <laughs> I like this map. This is very nice. And power has been restored. Let's see if we can go through this without getting killed anymore. And for that, we're going to be happy. Come on. Thank you. I was going to say, power on. Shall I use an electro bolt on you? Listen, I've got a family. I need to get them out of here. But the Splicers have cut me off from them. If you can reach them in Neptune's bounty, then maybe, just maybe... I know you must feel like the unluckiest man in the world right I am. Now, but you're the only hope I'll ever see my wife and child again.